What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Lesser Athletes. Today, it's your boy Guido on the mic once again. And today, I'll be ranking your top 10. Actually, I lied. Whoops. I'll be doing a tier list of all the NBA centers. I don't know why I messed it up, but sorry. Um, but yeah, today, 2024 NBA centers tier list goes from 130. Like I said in my last um, power rankings or tier list, or whatever you want to call it, I changed it from S to F to number one, number two to five, six to ten, eleven to twenty. You know, just to make it more simple, because like having an S and an A tier, it can be kind of hard to rank players on the same on the same tier. You know, sometimes, and I think this is more precise and a better way of doing it. So yeah, so I'm just gonna stick to this. But yeah, let's get right into it. Um, starting off, we got Kristaps Porzingis. This year has been pretty solid. Once again, he got injured a few times. But I can't be really that mad at him because he has been performing when he plays. He's been pretty good for Boston so far. I think for now, he's going to deserve a top 10. This is also subject to change because of the other centers in this list. There's many, many talented centers. So, yeah, we'll I'll probably change around, but yeah, we'll see. Next up, Miles Turner. Once again, one of the few centers in this game that can shoot the ball really well. Um, really good defensive presence in the paint. He's been solid for the Pacers this year. They got to the finals of the in-season tournament. That was a pretty good run for them, honestly. I was surprised they made it that far. Mainly because of Tyrese, but yeah. Either way, Turner, I think he's been a top 10 center as well. He deserves that nod for now. It could also change, but we'll see. Um, next up, we got Jerry Allen. Jared Allen this year has been kind of eh. Like, he's had flashes of like, like some good games here and there, but I don't think we'll ever see that all-star version of him again. Maybe even now, since Mobley's up for like two months, maybe he'll turn up again. But so far, he hasn't been that good. So we're, for now, I'm going to put him like top 20. I say he's like in the top like 12 area, 13 maybe, around the area. I think he's, he's still pretty solid. He's a good center. Just hasn't, hasn't been that star for a while now. So, yeah. Next up, we got Mark Williams. Mark Williams has been pretty solid, too. Um, I don't like his consistency, though. He could be, like, really good with the rebounds, right? You get, like, you get, like, 15, 16 rebounds every game. But then there'll be, like, a random game where we have, like, four rebounds or five rebounds. And, like, he won't score much and he won't be that good just in general. But I think he's been solid, though. He, he's, he needs more to prove, though, like I um, said with other centers, so... I think for now he's like he's like the bottom end of the top twenty probably if I had to get, if I had to say so but we'll see because there's so many talented tenders so we'll find out later on. Next up we got Anthony Davis, AD. He has been a monster this year. I can't even lie. He is definitely worth top three centers, maybe a top four, top three around the area, right? Really talented. It's gonna be hard to rank him here because there's so many talented centers I, I can think of right now. So it's gonna be like. For now, I think he deserves top five. He'll be in the top five range. AD deserves that that nod. He has been really talented this year. He hasn't gotten injured that much, which is good for the Lakers and their chances to win the playoffs and stuff. But yeah, that's it for the um, Anthony Davis talks. Next up, well, yeah, Rip Aquaman. He got injured for the whole year again. I hope he gets better. We love you, Steven Adams. Next up, we got Brooke Lopez, Splash Mountain. He's getting on the older side of his career now, but st even regardless, he's been really good. You can still knock down a three ball like crazy. He's like probably the best fourth option in the entire league, behind Giannis, Damon Middleton. Like that's just crazy thing about for the Bucks. Like wow. So one of the he has averages the most blocks in the entire league. He can knock down the the three really well. He's just a, a nice center to have for anybody. So I think, oh, it's gonna be tough, but I think he's like. There's so much talent. It's a problem. I think he's like top 12 probably. But this is the the problem is with all the talent in the league, it's going to be hard to rank him in the top 10. But we'll see. Maybe we'll change it around. Next up, we got Rudy Gobert. The Wolves have been winning this year a lot. And honestly, most of it is thanks to like Ant, Cat, and obviously Gobert too. He hasn't been as inconsistent as last year. That's mainly the problem with the Wolves last year. That's why they didn't win much, and that's why they were struggling to get any Ws. But now they, they seem to go. They found their act. They they won a lot of games. I think they're like 
the top three seed right now in the West, which is crazy. Um, Gobert have been solid. I think he also deserves like top 12. I'm not sure if I can put it much higher than that, but we'll see. Maybe later on. Next up, we got Jonas Valanciunas. Yeah. Next up, we got Jonas Valanciunas. Valanciunas, honestly, is another one of those solid centers that you'd love to have, right? You can't be bad at having Valanciunas. He's a really good offensive center. He does like defense sometimes, but um, his size makes up for it, and his shooting and his offensive skills make up for it like, completely. So, I don't think I have much to complain from Valanciunas. He's also like around the top 10, to the t 20 area. Around there, you could argue he's better than the Gobert, worse or better than Lopez. It, it could be really go around for any of these three centers, but yeah. Next up, we got Mitchell Robinson. Oh yeah, bro got injured for like eight weeks, so. <laughs> and also, even if he did play that much, it, it wasn't that consistent either way. So, I mean, he was okay. He wasn't anything crazy, right? But yeah, Mitchell Robinson. I hope you get better too. Um, yeah, him and Steve Adams are like pretty much like RAP for now, and, and probably till next year. Next up, oh, we got Chet Holmgren. One of the top rookie candidates this year. It's going to be hard to rank Chet because Chet obviously is talented, right? You can see his talent like showcasing himself right now. But the thing is, though, I don't think he's proven enough yet. That's a problem. Like, he's obviously been good. He's obviously, like, by far a top two candidate rookie for the year. Top two rookie of this class or whatever this year sorry damn um i think for now the top 20 top 10 top 20 around the area i don't know where to put him exactly but i think he around this area is fine for him and probably another rookie i'll be talking about later on but yeah next up wendell carter wendell carter has seen a decline from last year uh he was pretty solid last year but this year is not that much um also he's been injured a lot so just many injury struggles and just consistency problems, so we'll see what happens with Wendell Carter. Next up, DeAndre Aiden. Aiden's been okay. He hasn't been anything special, as, as we all expected him to be. Um, But yeah, like top 20 as well for DeAndre Aiden. I don't think nothing crazy, but he could he could probably be better. if if He should be better, honestly. He's on his own team now with just Scoot, Simons, and like Sharp. And Jeremy Grant, but yeah. Next up, Nick Claxton. Really solid, honestly. I can't complain about having Nick Claxton either on any team. Probably, uh, I think is Claxton is good, right? Oh, I don't know where to put him. It's like this is like in a weird spot. He's like solid. He gets you blocks, good defense, good inside play. But yeah, I think he's like he's probably better than Aiden and Valanciunas. So it'll probably go like right there for me. It's kind of hard to rank these centers, man. It's tough. Next up, you got Bam Adebayo. Bam has been having a pretty solid year. He is scoring once again has gone up. And I know I'm a Heat fan, right? For those of you who know, I am a Heat fan. But I'm trying my best not to be biased. But it's tough. I think he is top five. Probably like number four, number five. I'm going to put Bam up there for now. Bam is a... And well, AD is like a power forward. But I think Bam is a top three center in the league. Uh, Behind, well, I'll talk about those two players later on. But yeah. We'll see what happens with that. Next up, Yusuf Nurkic. One of uh, Hanat's favorite players for reasons we won't talk about right now. Um, but yeah. Nurkic, honestly, has been pretty good. He's been surprisingly um, good for the Suns. I think that trade turned out to be a W for them. Nurkic can has the ability to shoot, which is something they really need for spacing. Because KD, Booker, and Beal are all like mid-range spot-up shooters, you know. Or not spot-up shooters, like just inside shot creators, you know. I think they need that, that three-point shooting from Nurkic. That was really nice for them. Also pretty solid defensively, good rebounding. Nurkic is really good overall. Um, definitely not a star for, or by any chance, but I think he's like around like near Valanciunas' level, near like DeAndre Aiden's level. Like around the area is pretty solid. Yeah. Next up, we got Damontes Sabonis. Ooh, this is tough, man. Sabonis has been a monster this year with the stats, averaging like... 18, 12, and like 7 or something like that. That's pretty good. Like a damn near triple-double. It's crazy. And His offensive skills are like showcasing crazy right now. The only thing he does lack sometimes is like... <laughs> he needs to stay out of foul trouble. That's something I notice a lot with Sabonis. He also does need to work on his shooting a little bit. And his free throw shooting especially. <laughs> um, but besides that, he's pretty talented. He, he's a great passer. Like a really good passer. 
he knows how to work the paint. He knows how to use his body to, um, wait, let me not say that. <laughs> he knows how to attack the paint, rather. Um, yeah, re really good all-around player. You can't be mad about bonus. I think he is top five. This could also change because, oh, man, this, the centers are actually really talented this year, so I can't even lie. So, yeah. Next up, Victor Wembanyama. Oh, man. Look, so the thing with Wemby is he's good, right? But the Spurs haven't won, so you can't really say that Victor's um, stats contribute to winning yet. Until I see that, I don't think I can rank him over Chet because Chet's stats are really good and they're winning. So for now, I'm going to put Wemby under Chet. They're, they're both really close, like neck and neck for Rookie of the Year, if I'm being honest. But we'll see what happens because next month it could completely change. Wemby's still a great talent, though. He's an alien. <laughs> Next up, we have Jakob Pertl. Pertl's been alright. He hasn't been anything crazy, um, from what I know, at least. Um, he's been solid, but I think the Raptors could use someone else, maybe. I'll put him, like, I'll move Mark Williams down and put Pertl there, maybe. Nothing crazy, though. Next up, Walker Kessler. Kessler's been alright, too. He, um, he's kind of having a little sophomore slump for a little bit. He's, he is now starting to find his way. Um... Starting to average is, is like, like um, what's it called? Massive quantity of blocks I used to last year too. I think he saw it too. Just needs more to prove. He needs to prove more. I mean, sorry, um, needs to prove a lot more to us still. It'll, it'll take time, but yeah, I think Kessler will get there eventually. It's just it's a matter of time. He needs to work over his um offensive inconsistencies too. Next up, Daniel Gafford. Um, he's a solid center. I don't think. I think he's better as a backup if more than a starter. He's he's not he's all right. I don't think anything crazy for Daniel Gafford. I'll put him like under Mark Williams for now. Next up, Nikola Vucevic. Vucevic is really good, man. He is really solid. Vucevic is oof. really good offensively. He can be a little slow and like um, clunky on defense sometimes, but he he also has the ability to knock down a three, which is really good for centers nowadays and. Yeah, really good rebounding, but um, good score too. Uh, I don't know, Vucevic is kind of harder to rank. I think he has like the, the definitely the top twenty. I just don't know where to put him as a problem. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I think I move Perto out and then put Valanciunas in. Yeah, Vu or not Valanciunas, Vucevic. Sorry, I'll put Vuce like above Claxton for now. He's like around the area, like under Wemby maybe. But yeah, next up Dwight Powell. I mean, uh, he's I right. completely honest. Like Mavericks, please just start Derek Lively. That's all I'm gonna really say. Next up Jalen Duren. Um, he's a young, promising center. He has shown good potential. I think he will be um improving in the next few years. But for now, he's like in the, the high twenties, maybe not much. Next up Kevon Looney. Once again, in like a. Like a role player. There's nothing crazy for Kevon Looney. He's like maybe above White Powell. Next up, we got Joel Embiid. Oh, man. Now, this is going to be tough. These last five centers are really tough to rank for obvious reasons. Um, I think this year, though, Embiid has been a little bit better than Jokic. Um, yeah, I'll just say his name. You see him right there. Embiid has been a little better than Jokic by a little bit. Not by much, but... And B just had a monster December month. I can't even deny that, man. Like, this man drops like forty point games, like like nothing now. Like it's crazy. For now, I will put and be a number one. That is really, it it, it might change because of Jokic. Jokic is like his only competition, pretty much for the best center in the league. Um, but yeah, and B he's been a monster, man. I can't even deny because they've been winning too. So that's a beat for you. Next up, we got Alper and Shengun. Really good. I mean, I don't know what else to say about him. Like, he's like a... <laughs> I saw a meme about Jokic, Sabonis, and like Alper and Sengun. It's like Jokic is like Char... Char or like it's a... Uh, um, Sengun is like Charmander, Sabonis is Charmeleon, and Jokic is Charizard. I'm like, what the hell? That's literally what it is. It's literally just like these three centers like so like... They're so similar. It's just, like they're all younger versions of themselves. Like it's they literally evolve. It's just crazy. But yeah, uh, I think Sengun is like... Uh, he's been play he's been pretty really good, man. I can't even lie. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. The top ten is gonna be really tough for me to rank. I can't even lie. Um, 
I think he is top 20 worthy. I will put him in the top 20 area. We're going to have to move somebody up. Oh, man. Sorry, I'm struggling, bro. This is hard. Like the, 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 This like mid area is crazy hard to rank. I don't know who's going to go to the top 10. But yeah, let's focus on finishing the rest of the rankings for now. Next up, we got Zubats. Um, he's, he's been all right. Um, he's had a few like flashes of being good. Right here, we got actually we got 10 down here already. Sorry, so we're, we're going to move. Here's what we're going to do. Duran's going to go up. Alan's going to go up. Zubats, you're going to go like here. He, you've been all right. Um, so, I mean, solid center. I mean, he's been all right. I don't think the Clippers are like too mad about him, but they aren't happy that much either. But he's been solid, so. And the Clippers have been winning recently. They, they're like in a seven-game winning streak, the Clippers. So they can't be too mad, really. Um, next up, we got Jokic. He's easy number two. They came in. I don't know how much to say about Jokic. Um, but, yeah. Um, next up, we got Clint Capella. Uh, he is, like, the top 20, I think. He is, like, he's like around Nurkic and Valanciunas' level. Like, around the area. It's pretty good for him. I think Berkic, or not Berkic, <laughs> Nurkic has been a little better. Um... But yeah, now we're going to have to move up people. Um, this is going to be tough. Because, like, these four guys, or five guys, really, could deserve going into the top ten, probably. I think this is top, this is a locked top five here, no matter what. Uh, then the last two spots, I'll probably have to give it a... Oh, man. I think just because of the winning reasons, I'm going to have to give it to Go Loki. I know it's crazy, but, like... Actually, I don't know. Does Go deserve top ten centers? He's been good, bro. I mean, the Wolves have been good. I feel like I'm, like, misranking somebody really badly right now. Man, this is tough. I can't even lie. Oh, my God, bro. I'm actually struggling. I haven't had this hard of a time, sh like, ranking all any of these videos. Except this one, man. Oh, man. Um... Does Lopez deserve top 10, though? Is Lopez a top 10 center? He is, right? Yeah, I, I think Lopez deserves top 10. I'll put Lopez at top 10. I'm just struggling because Chad and Wemby are, like, so neck and neck. If I put one over the other, it's going to be like, like, oh, my God, why do I like this rookie better, right? But, like, I don't. I, it's just, like, they're so close to each other. Like, the talent and, like, how, how, they, how they've been doing this season is, like, so close. Like, I can't even, like, I can't say one's really better than the other, like, by, by that much, really. So... I think this is a good list. Um, this is probably my final list. T tell me if I missed anybody. Um, I'll probably rearrange. Okay, yeah, I think I'll rearrange it a little bit. Um, but Porzingis, yeah, he can stay there. Allen can stay there. Brooke, yeah. Uh, nothing much really to change, but yeah. I think that's it for today's video. Um, thank you for watching. Um, let me know who I missed ranked or who should be higher or lower or any of the above. But yeah, um, thank you all for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment, and let me see that feedback, and I will be replying in the comments. So, yeah. Adios, and goodbye.